Hey, yo, what's swagger players? It's your boy, Stax Montana, man, back out here on this WWE 2K19 featuring the future Hall of Famer, the current GOAT, the prototype. And, bro, we just was at Hell in a Cell, bro. We defended our title. The Miz put his title on the line as well in a ladder match. We came up on top. We were the champ champ, you feel me? Then Kurt Angle came and crushed my dreams, said I could only keep one title, and I decided to keep the official Intercontinental Championship. Mine was just a fake, you feel me? I need the real deal, the real thing. So that's what I'm coming out here to defend, you feel me? The next day after Hell in a Cell, we it's time to get to Raw, and let's see what I got in store for myself. Cause I know Triple H is not gonna be happy that I continue to prosper in the WWE, so uh, let's go. Hey champ, just wanted to let you know we're wrestling tonight, and it's for the title. Uh, yeah, Kurt actually texted me about it this morning. My dad texted you? He never responds to my texts, because he says he's not really a texter. Huh, that's odd. Anyway, want a picture together? Uh, sure, I guess. Is this something you normally do with your opponents? Not really. I just thought it would be a nice memento for you to have after you lose your title tonight. That's a keeper. I'll text you the pick. Uh, thanks. Actually, no, on second thought, I'm not really a texter. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Intercontinental Championship. Let's get it, baby. Your boy is the champ for real now. We no longer walking around with a fake title. We are the champ for real. Jason Jordan, Kurt Angle's son, is going to challenge me for the IC title. Shout out to Kurt for uh, trying to get his son a championship, bro. Uh, hopefully, he's going to return to the WWE soon. I remember he got like a neck injury or some crazy injury that may force him to retire for real so hopefully he can make his way back bro because that him being Kurt Angle's son storyline was pretty it was kind of cool especially if he was going to evolve into the level of wrestler that Kurt was going to that Kurt was so maybe we could have gotten Kurt for the rest of his prime unlike the real Kurt that went to TNA on us you feel me but here goes the chance a new I see Champ, and you got to respect the man. Look at that boy. With that title on, you got to respect it. You have to respect it. It's a must that you respect it. And I wonder if I would have kept my other title because I had the option to choose the other one in this one. I wonder if I would have kept the other one if we would be having another ladder match, ladder match right now. But I'm ready to get into this one. Now hopefully no BS happens. Usually they don't like to see me prosper. So I got a pretty good feeling that some BS is going to happen during this match. <sighs> I'm just, I just got to be prepared for it. Challenger from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 245 pounds, Jason Jordan. All right, now get on to the real main eventer here, the guy that everybody here came to see. Let's get on to me. Introducing the champion. From Newark, New Jersey, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion, the Prototype. Don't move, don't We speak. ready. Don't even blame. We ready. We are ready. Hey, Jason Jordan, do not get a little too close to my title. Don't touch it. Don't breathe on it. Thank you. That's about as close as you ever going to get to wearing that right there, you feel me? You ain't going to be having that white leather on yourself. That's mine for the keeping, mine for the having, mine for the taking, mine for forever. Your boy is the champion. What you guys think of Buzz's Let's go. To keep the and I'm coming out with the wild drop kick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get, boy, if you don't get off of me, if you do not get off of me, neck breaker. Now let's go ahead and punch him all in his face. 
At least Buzz will always have his title as a keepsake. Not the giving this man the works. All, Buzz slips up tonight and Jason Jordan. Ooh, fire drop. Go ahead and get up there if you want to. Go ahead and get up there if you want to. I was waiting for you to get up there. Throwing this man outside the ring. Your boy got moves for days. Let's go ahead and kick him in his chest. Go ahead and kick that man straight up in the chest. Oh, he reversed me. That boy had me flying high just now. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought I reversed that. Whoa, Jason Jordan is trying to put some moves on me. But if he wins with me outside the ring, he doesn't win the title. Titles can't be won via disqualification. Sorry, Jason Jordan. But you can do all of these moves out here that you want. I will not be losing my title if you do that. He wants no part of the outside. I was about to say, that should have been you trying to this get me back in the ring. Why am I doing this? Why? 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 Oh, get off. Get off me. Oh, my God, bro. I thought he was about to finish me up there. Just yet, Cole. He still appears to be kind of felt stupid for even attempting that. And Jason Jordan reverses it. Whoa, okay. 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 Oh, whoa, whoa. Did he unlock that Kurt Angle moveset with these suplexes? The bro got suplexes. All right. I respect the suplexes, man. Anybody out here pulling out suplexes, I respect you. Trust. I doubt he's all that now let me punch this man all the in the face. Is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point. You already know what time it is, bro. We got a boss up for real, man. Go ahead and stand up for me, Mr. Jordan. Go ahead and stand up for me. Let me come behind you. Oh, he reversed me. Jason Jordan reverses. I reversed him. Jason Jordan, I'm always too Steps ahead of you. Remember that. You know what time it is. It's time for that signature. It's time for that signature revolution. Me. And let's go ahead and pin this man in this match. This was a light work, as you can see. As you can see, I'm the IC champion, bro. I'm not having no long, drawn-out match against somebody talking crap to me backstage. My man gonna take a picture with the boy. Loki, you knew you was gonna lose, so you just wanna have that picture hung up on your wall so you can have at least some type of familiarities. I don't even know if this word familiarities with the title that you can see it every single day. But I'm the real champ. And I'm the one that's gonna really see this title every day. Alright, you're gonna respect that. You feel me the What the heck? Do you hear the buzz? It's the sound of the cicada emerging after years of slumber from their underground existence. Just as you have emerged from the underground and made your presence known. Unfortunately for the cicada, when it tunnels its way to the Earth's surface, it only has mere weeks to live before it is eaten by a predator. Well, I am that predator. For I am the eater of worlds. You should have stayed underground, my friend. Because now I am coming for you. <laughs> this has the potential to be a very bad situation for Buzz. <laughs> Hey, not to be weird or anything, but I've been meaning to ask you since you got to Raw. What's up with you driving this retro van everywhere? Uh, it's just what I'm used to, I guess. I kind of lived in it when I was on the indie scene. Kind of? Okay, I, I definitely lived in it when times were tight. And then when I signed with WWE, I decided to uh, fix it up. Keep it running. Interesting. And the bug logo? Oh, this used to be my dad's work van for his exterminator business. It's pretty much the last thing he gave me. I guess his way of supporting my crazy wrestling dreams. That's cool. I mean, other than the fact that it still kind of smells like pesticide. Well, I think your dad would be really proud of what you've accomplished so far. Yeah. Yeah, me too.
Man, I guess I'm doing an open challenge to anybody that wants that smoke from the IC champion. You feel me? I don't think the title is on the line for this match. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm performing each and every week. I am a fighting champion. You feel me? I put my money where my mouth is. His way to the ring from Newark, New Jersey, weighing in at 220 pounds, the Intercontinental Champion, the Prototype. You already know big champs over here, you feel me? And anybody that wants that smoke can run up and they gonna get done up, you feel me? And I guess tonight just happened to be Brother Kurt Hawkins. Brother Hawkins, I would like to speak to you down here in the front row in the pew. We gonna holler at you, my boy. Kurt Hawkins, yeah, you ain't winning tonight, brother. And his you about to get washed. Queens, New York, in at Why are they booing him, though? Like, Kurt the crowd is booing my mans. And what is that? Do you plan on trying to use that against me or something? I know you better put that thing down, bro. You ain't about to hit me with that. You ain't about to use that on you know, me. Guys, some people were just built to be WWE superstars. And if history's taught us anything... Kurt Hawkins was probably more likely built to be an electrician. You know, we talk a lot Bro, about look at his straight. record on his back. Like, he's Hawkins celebrating the fact that he has never won a match. Well, that just means he's got more you never won a match, my boy. Imagine being a wrestler, practicing, grinding to become a wrestler your entire life, and then WWE gives you the gimmick of never winning a match. That's, that got to be tough. I ain't going to lie. That got to be tough. And you ain't about to beat me tonight either, brother. You see what my objective is. You see what my goal is. I was hoping no BS happened. And I would end up being his first ever victory. I did not want that to happen. And I don't think the title was on the line or anything like that. So we got nothing to worry about. I key, bro. I got so much better, I feel like, at this game. That uh, I feel like we could, we could just breeze through this match. My overall is going up. Whoa, boy. What did you think you was about to do to me? What did you think you was about to do to me? Slam you in your head, man. Don't disrespect me like that. What was that? Literally was just trying to pick him up. Whoa, 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 bro. Relax yourself. Relax yourself, man. You ain't got to be doing all of what you're doing right now. Got the wild rope break. Okay, I respect it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that again. I did not mean to just. I did not mean to just do that. All right, come on, let's get back to regularly scheduled programming. Pedigree for your head, top. Kurt Hawkins is big trash, bro. My moves is doing so much damage to him right now. Big stomp, big stomp, big stomp. Jumping knee strike. Jumping knee strike. He's not looking good here. He'll pick this boy up again. Go ahead, elbow kick. Another kick. Oh. What? The blatant disrespect for the officiating gets this one waved off. What the? F Yo, what did this man just do? Bro, my man just swung and hit me right in the nads. Right in the testes. Now we got to, now I'm about to, I'm about to really, I'm about to really, really. Really wash this man. Like I was trying to take it easy on, bro. I was trying to take it easy on, bro. Like I, I, I really was, bro. I really was trying. Really was trying, bro. I don't have a good feeling about what might happen next when the eater of worlds sets his sights on you. Whoa, whoa, I missed. Whoa, boy, what the heck are you doing? Don't ever try that on me. Oh, you want to reverse my hits again? You gonna hit me in my nuts again, bro? Is that what you're going to do? Boy, if you don't get out of here. You tried it, though. I ain't going to lie. You tried it. You ain't succeed, but you tried it. Kurt Hawkins, you really just came out here and hit your boy in the nads, bro. That's wild disrespect, bro. You don't do stuff like that to other men, bro. Like, you don't supposed to do stuff like that, bro. Now you got to catch this work for real, dog. Now, I wasn't going to bust you open, but now I might have to bust your head open. Now I'm going to have to bust open your head. What are you doing? Why is he doing that? Why was he just doing that? Like, what, like what's wrong with you, bro? What is wrong with my mans right here? 
Oh, yeah? All right, that's what we want you anyway. We're going to go ahead and let you set yourself up. Catch this DDT. But we don't got time to be playing with you. My bro really hit me in the freaking nuts. Like, he hit me in the nuts, bro. We're going to get this man a uh, DDT right outside the ring. Bust that head open. Bust that forehead open, boy. I'm not playing with you. Let me just go get me a quick stomp in over there, you feel me? Get back in the ring. Tell his man to go ahead and stand up. Let's go. Meet me in the ring, bro. Boy, you, I just slapped him in the back. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Where did that kick just come from? Bro, if you, I was about to say, bro, if you hit me in my nuts again, it's going to be an issue. Whoa, why can't I reverse this guy? I can't reverse this guy. He's choking ref. Ref, don't let him choke me. I'm the champ. Ref, ref, I am the champ. You sitting there letting the champ get choked? What's wrong with you? Do your job, man. Do your job, bro. You don't put let the champ get choked. The hell's wrong with this ref? He letting his champ get choked out. Oh, bust him open. That's exactly what we want. That's exactly what we want. Stomp his chest in. Stomp a mud hole in his chest. Go ahead and hit him with another knee. Go ahead and charge up that. Go to sleep. Bro, I told this man I was not playing with him. I told you we was coming out here to destroy you now. We're going to hit the boy all in his testy cows. Now let me go ahead and let you go to sleep. One, two, three. Light work. Ball game. The man really came out here and took a low blow up. Hit me with a little quick uppercut to the nut. You feel me? Hey, that was wildly disrespectful. You, you should be ashamed of yourself, my man. You should be ashamed of yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's why you ain't got no wins now. If you continue to not have any wins, I, bruh. If I would have lost to him, I would have been tight. I would have been salty. But instead, I retain my Intercontinental Championship. And the tats look super fu- you Not again. again! It's the sound of insects buzzing all around us. But unlike you, they serve a purpose. My fireflies light up the night so maggots can seek out and dine on rotten flesh and waste. But you, you're simply a parasite, feeding off of everyone you encounter and giving nothing in return. Your lineage itself was built on someone whose sole purpose was to leave death in their path, to exterminate. And I find that amusing, because that is exactly what I'm going to do to you. You see, at TLC, you can leave your precious title at home. I'm not concerned with that trivial ornament. What I am concerned with is your demise, your extermination. I'm not gonna stand here and let you try to play mind games with me. But what I will do is accept your challenge for a match at TLC. What is happening? <laughs> I have no idea, but this is a sick man we're dealing with. <laughs> Luckily, we're not the ones dealing with him. He's Buzz's problem now at TLC. Yeah. Uh, hey, Matt. Sorry to interrupt um, whatever it is you're doing. What does it look like? I'm rosining my violin bow as one does. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, listen, I've got a match coming up against Bray Wyatt, and I was just kind of hoping you might be able to give me some advice. Brother Buzz, are you woken? Um, I don't think so. If one is not woken, then there is no hope in combating a force such as the monster you speak of. And even I, who is supremely woken, have lost many battles to him in the Great War. Okay, so how do I become woken? That is like asking how your vessel breathes the air. It must materialize on its own. Or there is the technique of a jaunt to the multiverse, but all this rosining about and dispensing of wisdom has given me much weary. 
I must retreat to my quarters. Good evening, come here. Okay, thanks. I guess. Well, I'm not sure that was very helpful for Buzz. Coming up next time. Oh, it's Bray Wyatt. They just threw me into a you backstage brawl. I was not expecting area. this, bro. Now I got to go ahead and watch Bray Wyatt. And I'm hitting him with these strikes, but my man just flung me off like a baby. Did he just tuck and roll up out the way? What? Yo, what, what are we doing right now? What? Oh, he almost flipped me over the barricade. Bro, what is going on? We couldn't hit each other for a while for a minute. Where is he throwing me, bro? The action is officially on the move. Boy, if you don't get off of me. Whoa. Bray Wyatt is good, bro. Swing and neck breaker. Let's go. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Get Bray Wyatt to your van in the parking lot. I ain't even peeped that objective right there. But before we do that, uh, yo, why is he so fast? Why are you so fast, you know, Sam? Why the hell are you so fast, man? Stomp you all in your chest. Before we do that, we got a couple things to take care of. So I want to make sure Bray Wyatt got the message loud and clear that I am not afraid of him. Where's the chair? Is no chair here? Oh, there goes you. All right, we got to wait now. He coming in. Oh, how did I miss that attack? That's tough. That is tough. That is tough. The man is throwing me all over the room. Oh, he reversed me again. Bray Wyatt, you are a beast. All of these reversals. But get off me, man. Get off me. Let me pick up my handy dandy chair. You remember what I did to uh, uh, Elias with this chair? Pick it up. Pick it up. Why could I pick up the chair? I just want to stomp this man out with this. Whoa, whoa. Why are you bending it over like that? Is that that's how you giving it up in 2019? Man had the wild thing bent all over. Whoa, whoa! How did he reverse that with no reversal? I be so confused with this game. Sometimes this game literally be cheating, bro. He just reversed that with no reversals, bro. Let's go, signature time, baby! Signature time, baby! Now, let me go ahead and uh, pick this man up. Actually, not yet. Not yet. Yeah, you that reversal. That's exactly what I... All right. I didn't want you to start throwing me around the room. I didn't want that to happen. There we go. Got my reversal in. Go ahead and throw this man up on his desk. You know what I got to do next. You know what I got to do next. If it ever loads. There we go. OMG move. And I don't know if I can even pick him up. This man ain't too heavy for me to pick up. Slam this man all over the desk. Will Triple H get here in the morning? He will see you laid out in this room, all right? Now, I'm about to go walk to my van. Don't you follow me. You feel me? I might just go home after this. I don't know what type of weird stuff you got going on. What type of weird things you do in your spare time. But I know I'm, I'm going to just need you to leave me alone from here on out. Yo, he's still running. Like, his back don't hurt. His back don't hurt. Oh, man. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. What, what you want to do, bro? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Run up, get done up. Run up, get done Oh, my goodness. He just got a signature, too. Uh-oh. Watch out. Oh, shoulder first. Ooh. Guys, you don't think. Oh, no, You please. don't think. I can't watch. I like this. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Is he really going to do this? This is bad. Oh, no. <laughs> no, this is sick. <laughs> Sister Abigail. Come on now. Please don't do this. Oh my God! What kind of twisted individual would destroy something that meant so much to Buzz? Bray Wyatt would. The man operates under a different set of rules.
bruh. I am. I listen, dog. I I didn't. I didn't think this. That, I am at a loss of words right now. I didn't think things would be taken that far. I didn't think things would like, bro. Like that literally just had they burnt down this man's van that his dad gave him. He was just talking to Bailey about. By the way, prototype. You be dropping the ball, bro. You had Alexa Bliss at one point. Could have got that. Definitely could have got Sasha. You had Bailey going with the guilt trip. You know, said she feel bad. You she was looking at you up and down a little bit too. I, I trust me. I know that look. You 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 missing out, brother. I just want to let you know. You you missing out. Maybe he's saving saving himself a little more. I don't know. Maybe, but. I can't believe we, we they, Bray Wyatt literally burnt down this man's van, bro. Like, that is crazy. That is like a, a whole different level of like BS. But unfortunately, I'm going to end the episode on that note. The next episode, I will be getting my revenge on Bray Wyatt. Trust me, dog. Trust me. At TLC, I think it's TLC. I think it's TLC. Yeah, TLC, bro. Whatever pay-per-view this is, I will be getting my revenge on Bray Wyatt, bro. The man just burnt down a van. First of all, we, the van was given to given to us by our dad before he died. We got work done on it. We fixed it up, and this man came and burnt it down in the parking lot, jeopardizing so many lives, I want to add. So just for safety prevention, we're going to beat him down to the ground, you feel me? And then on top of that, the van, the, the, all of that stuff. The, 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 the sentimental value the van had to the boy. We got to go in and smoke him. Now, I think, this would, I think this is right around the shortest episode I've done for the series so far. I do apologize. Don't worry. The longer episodes are coming soon. So, be very patient. But as of right now, Bray Wyatt, you got to get dealt with. You're new to the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. You're not going to want to miss this next match up against Bray Wyatt. I'm still in shock right now. Go ahead and drop a like on this video if you enjoyed this episode. I definitely do appreciate it. And until next time, man, real fans, stay up and I am out. Swag team, bruh. Zombie game, cuz. That was crazy. Got the black hand out of get me through this shit. They shit go over that. I might get these niggas 10%. I'm a country man, not business man. That shit is off the grid. Uh -huh. Off the map and shit might open up the bag and fucking deal. Like a bag of chips, you niggas think it crunch time I'm a deal. Do 20% when my shit hit the charts and it's a hit. Maybe made by friends. So